Hey. So, for anyone that has never seen me in a video before, same. I have, uh, well, had an attempt a few years ago at making some stuff. And, uh, I don't know. I, I gave it a fair shake. It's been a while, but, um, I don't know. I just was intrigued at the idea of making something else. And I just woke up today pretty late. No, I'm just kidding. I woke up at like five o'clock this morning to take my fiance to work and I couldn't really think about anything else except just wanting to make stuff. And, you know, I've thought for a long time that I was pretty good at explaining things. And there's a few things I know pretty well. There's a lot of stuff that I barely know at all. And I don't know. I, I just... Despite my best efforts, I want to become yet another teacher like, like everyone else in my family. And to give a little context, the last time I made videos, I believe I was a senior in undergrad. That was around 2017, something like that. And I... I didn't have any particular motivation to make them. I was just feeling creative at the time, creative enough to use copyrighted content, which would just probably not work anymore. Um, and I was writing a lot of music back then. I was living with a super cool roommate who I miss and love to death. And uh, obviously a few things changed since then. I met who is going to be my wife, Jess. I've mostly been working after I finished a grad certificate in 2019, which was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And, um, what else do I say? I mean, I've been working service jobs too, to be exact, and I'm just tired. You know, I'm, I am just tired, tired of not doing my own thing, tired of feeling like I am an imposter with no audience when in reality I'm not pretending that I have an audience because I don't. Thanks Jess for this grandma cup by the way. But I'm just, I don't know. I know a good few things about a few things and I have a lot of interests and uh, like a good example. I don't read many books, so let's make that very clear, but I read this and look, it's tracking his face. He's got a big face. It's about, it's, um, it's a book. Yeah. It's the life of Steve Jobs as told by him, his family, his friends. And despite my best efforts to completely dislike this guy, I definitely had some things to learn. I definitely have a new appreciation for what Apple is. And I want to talk about everything that I really took out of it, which is a lot. It's a 600 page autobiography well, biography more so, but also, I mean, I played drums for 10 years now. I played guitar or at least tried to for, uh, about four or five now, not really seriously, just enough to get through it as far as writing. And I've written a lot of music and I feel like that's probably the thing that I'm the strongest at at this point, because I haven't really played any instruments in a long time. 
And I don't know, I think I have a unique perspective on a lot of things. And I just want to use that and share that and share some music. Maybe motivate myself to finish a lot of the things that I started because I have a lot of good music, despite my best efforts to convince myself that it's crap. Welcome to being a musician. But uh, there's just a lot of things that I'm interested in. I want to try some things, and I don't have any particular reason to do anything. But it's uh, something to do in my free time. And I think it's uh, it, it can be something to express things. It can be a th- way to teach things. It can be anything I want it to be because as long as there's no audience and there's no expectations, there's no pressure except in here. And I'm tired of giving myself that pressure. So I picked up the camera, recorded today, and we'll see what happens from there. See you soon.